Hello viewers. In this video lecture, we are going to see one topic, honeypots. This topic is from the fourth unit of cyber security. And the objective of studying this topic is to understand the basic concepts of honeypots and to understand the working of honeypots. Let us see what is meant by honeypot. Honeypot is a cyber security mechanism that uses a manufactured attack target to lure cyber criminals away from legitimate target. Actually, this is a trick used by the organization or company uh, to attract the attackers so as to identify the attackers and to understand the behavior and the technologies and the tricks used by attacker. Honeypot is a mechanism used by the organization to um, catch the, actually it is to catch the attackers and the attacker activities a honeypot can be modeled after any digital asset including software applications servers or the network itself it is intentionally and purposefully designed to look like a legitimate target resembling the model in terms of structure components and content <coughs> this is meant to convince the adversary that they have access to the actual system and encourage them to spend time within this controlled environment. The intelligence gathered from honeypots is useful in helping organizations evolve and enhance their cyber security strategy in response to real world threats and identify potential blind spots in the existing architecture, information and network security. Honeypot is a network attached system and used as a trap for cyber attackers to detect and study the tricks and types of attacks used by the hackers. It acts as a potential target on the internet and informs the defenders about any unauthorized attempt to the information system. Honeypots are mostly used by large companies and organizations involved in cyber security. It helps cyber security researchers to learn about the different type of attacks used by attackers. It is suspected that even the cyber criminals use these honey honeypots to decoy researchers and spread wrong information. <coughs> this diagram shows how we, we can use the honeypot. Actually honeypot is a um, agent or a spot in an organization or in a network where uh, the attackers can attract it. The attackers use this system, honeypot system to enter to do their attack activities and the aim of the honeypot is to catch the attacker and to identify their activities and to identify their techniques so as to uh, provide the uh, provide the corresponding security mechanisms in their organization actually so the honeypot is the mechanism used to study about the attacker and their behaviors so in a <coughs> in our system one honeypot is installed externally after the external firewall. One honeypot is uh, installed in the local area network. Another one honeypot is installed after the router. So in every necessary spots, honeypots are used to filter the attacker. Types of honeypots. Based on the deployment, honeypots are divided into research honeypot. It is designed to collect the information about the specific methods and techniques used by the adversaries and what possible vulnerabilities exist within the system in, in reference to such tactics. Production honeypots. It is the most common honeypot type. This decoy is used by businesses to collect information and intelligence about cyber attacks within the production network. This may include IP address, intrusion attempt, time and dates, traffic volume and other attributes. Based on the interaction, honeypots can be classified into low interaction honeypot, medium interaction honeypots and high interaction honeypots. Low interaction honeypots gives a very little insight and control to the hacker about the network. It will do only uh, low level of interaction with the attacker. <coughs> medium interaction honeypots allow more activities to the hacker as compared to the low interaction honeypot so that more information can be collected about the attacker. But high interaction honeypots offers a large number of services and activities to the hacker. 
therefore wasting the time of the hackers and trying to get complete information about the hacker then types of honeypots honeypots can also be broken down by the type of activity they detect based upon the type of activity they detect honeypots can also be classified first one is email trap or spam trap honeypots decoy database malware hot honeypot spider honeypot etc <coughs> email trap or spam trap will in, implant a fictitious email address in a hidden field that can only be detected by an un automated address harvester or site crawler they are used to identify the attacker activities for our email or spam decoy database decoy database is a intentionally vulnerable data set that help organizations monitor software vulnerabilities architecture insecurities or even nefarious internal actors the decoy database will gather information about injection techniques credential hijacking or privilege abuse used by an attacker that can then be built into system defenses and security policies malware honeypot it mimics a software application or an application programming interface in an attempt to draw out malware attacks in a controlled non threatening environment spider honeypot it is a spider is designed to trap web crawlers sometimes called spiders by creating web pages and links only accessible to automated crawlers identifying these spiders can help organizations understand how to block malicious bots as well as ad network crawlers so honeypot is having lot of advantages in intrusion detection it acts as a rich source of information and helps to collect real time data it identifies malicious activity even if encryption is used it waste hackers time and resources it is used to improve the security of the organization so that's all about the topic thank you